Hi everybody, welcome to the fourth edition of the Barrel Classic. I'm David Kemp, the Ride Director, and I want to take you through the course safety briefing today. This year's Barrel Classic is looking like selling out again, with over 3,000 riders expected on the start line. So let's go over a few safety items to ensure everyone gets around the course in one piece. A key part of the event this year is we're using rider front plates for your rider number, identification and timing chip. So please make sure this is attached to the front of your bike as you won't be able to start without this. Some key, key safety points for the Barrel Classic this year is um, always remember that this is a ride and not a race. Um, the roads are not close to all traffic, um, so please abide by the New South Wales road rules and also follow the direction by the police and any officials. Please be respectful for other road users out there. You know, Don't ride more than two abreast where possible. Uh, for your safety, ensure you have front and rear lights attached. Um, program in the event emergency numbers. These are found in the rider handbook. Uh, there will be event support vehicles out on course to assist if you need um, any any help. So please just reach out to us um, if you do. Um, look out for your fellow riders. Um, you know we're all out here just to have fun. So please. Look out, look out for your mates and point out any potholes. Um, while we've made every effort to actually get the potholes fixed this year, there may still be some that, that come up. So be prepared for the Barrel Classic. Come with the right clothes. On the star line it can be cold, so check the forecast and layer up if you need. Make sure you, your lights are charged and also get your bike serviced and throw some new tyres on uh, just to make sure you get round without having a puncher. Uh, and also remember to pack your tube and pump. So please remember, this is a ride, not a race. The roads are not closed to traffic. Please do not ride more than two abreast where possible. And if you do decide to withdraw from the event, please notify a course marshal or event official so that we can note your withdrawal and keep a track of your whereabouts. If you have any questions or concerns, please email info at barrelclassic.com.au. I would like to run through some specific areas of the Challenge Classic 120 km course for your safety. Firstly, be careful out on course as there will be other groups of riders on there with you. So please keep left at all times and take extra care when overtaking other cyclists on the road. Between the 9 and 12 km section uh, through Berrima, um, please be careful there and do not overtake any cars when you're descending through the town uh, and be aware that there's going to be additional uh, people stopping at the cafes and um, you know pedestrians in that area. After the after Barima, you'll hit um, a couple of train tracks at the 14 and 16 kilometer mark. Um, please uh, be careful crossing those and stop for any trains and do not try and beat a train. At the 20 kilometer mark, or just after, you'll be touching the uh, the first rest stop, and at there you're going to be uh, encountered by you know more riders there, so be careful of um, riders coming in and out of the course. Uh, the timing will be stopped there, so please slow down and get through there that area safely. Just after the rest stop, you'll be turning left onto Illawarra Highway and then immediately turning right into Arthur Street. So please be careful here, uh, as the roads can be busy and they're not closed. Uh, at the 24 kilometres intersection of Yarrawa and Mount Broughton Road. Uh, this is a busy intersection, so please take care. Uh, timing's still going to be off, so just take your time to get through that corner. You'll be turning right towards the Bundanoon Loop, uh, which takes you into where the timing begins again. So that's through this section. So be really careful through uh, all of this section through here, all the way around through Bundanoon, as the roads are quite narrow, um, and uh, especially through the section between uh, Mount Broughton and Wirai into Exeter. The riders will be coming both directions, so keep keep left and keep an eye out for any traffic. Uh, at the rest stop at Exeter, um, take care when entering and exiting. Um, everyone's just there to refuel and, and get some food to get back on the road, so let's make sure you, you do that safely. Uh, so timing will start again just after Exeter, so it will be turned off for the rest stop section. Uh, and we'll stop again just before you get onto Yarra Road. Um, take care on Yarra Road and Nowra Road uh, as timing will be off through there and uh, 
police have mandated not to overtake any cars through that section. As you head up towards Robinson, uh, enjoy the ride. Uh, keep left through that section. The road is quite narrow as well. Um, timing will be off just before you get to the Illawarra Highway. Um, follow the, the directions of the course marshals and traffic controllers when turning right onto Illawarra Highway. Uh, this is a busy road um, and yeah, we just, the, the marshals are there for your safety. So um, that will lead you into the last rest stop of the day at, at Robinson. Um, be mindful that people will be entering and exiting the course. So if you wanna go to the rest stop, please pull to the left of the road. Do not try and turn from the middle of the road into the rest stop. Um, and enjoy the refreshments before you get back on the course for the home stretch. Just after Robinson, there is a, <clears throat> a steep, dangerous descent where riders will be coming down towards Kangaloon. Um, so just take extra care there and be on the brakes early. There will be marshals on that descent to warn you and, and slow you down. So when you see them, please hit the brakes. Uh, coming into Kangaloon, you'll be turning right um, into Kirkland Road. This is going to take you up to towards the tourist road. Um, be careful on that corner. It is uh, it's a 90 degree turn and you can be going quite fast. So slow down through that section. Um, up through tourist road, you'll be coming onto the Murr of Flanders section of the course. Have fun on that climb. It's a good climb. Um, as you go over the top of that, you'll be heading down and turning right into Range Road. <clears throat> there is another wall of um, a steep climb there that's going to really make your legs burn so please keep left on that climb and be mindful of other road users over the top of that you'll be on the range road uh, section of the course uh, the, the road is quite narrow and windy through there and, and can be quite rough so take care um, timing will be actually finished at the end of range road just before south road uh, be very careful on the descent down to south road and that roundabout uh, you'll be turning left um, and then heading towards Erich Park. There's another fast descent on Old South Road, so just take care through that section um, as you come down the hill into a couple of roundabouts. Just keep going straight through all the roundabouts uh, and then you get to the village. And uh, there, you can enjoy the, the village atmosphere at, uh, at Erich Park. Thank you.